You guys, I'm back with another video today. I have the second part of the aftermath of what went down today on WD Tough Enough. Um, I I have no way to say I'm pissed off about what happened at WD Tough Enough. But you guys saw the first part. The second part is what what would happen on WD Tough Enough? Because you know why? There wouldn't be no Amanda, and there wouldn't be no ZZ. You know why? Because after what WWE did when Ho when they when Hogan went on his racist rant, they kicked him off uh, WWE for good. Everything, the shop, everything, and tough enough. If it wasn't for him, if he didn't do that, he would have still be on there, and Amanda would have been been on tough enough, and probably it's easy one to be because Hogan loved Tanny. He says he's a great wrestler. I think right. Don't remember. Cause old news, um, he's a great wrestler, and maybe a man would have said, who knows? It would have been probably been Sarah, Gigi, Tanner, and Josh. If if that would if, if that would have happened, Hogan would still have been on there. It would have been Sarah, Gigi, Tanner, and Josh probably. But now since he left, the mid saved Amanda because she's hot. She has big boobs. Nobody cares. I just wanted her to win. Tough enough. I hated Sarah from the beginning. She thinks she was all that. And if you guys saw WWE Tough Talks, that was crazy, man. Amanda went off on Sarah. Even Billy Gunn went off, like, saying Sarah wasn't even that great. Da -da -da, I preferred Amanda. Paige even said, I still preferred Amanda, but Sarah, you're, you did okay because they had to be nice at the ending of the show and you got the contract. Everybody preferred Amanda. And the WWE Universe, I voted for Amanda and ZZ, but I really care about the guys, I don't care who went, but I still like ZZ, but I really didn't care, Josh was great, but ZZ's entrance was better than Josh's entrance, Josh's entrance was crap, but what did you guys think about it, let me know in the comments, but what the WWE, oh, I'm so pissed, I'm just so pissed off, because Sarah is now an NXT diva, she's gonna get lit up, she's gonna, someone's gonna stick a firecracker in her butt, Light her up, cause she's gonna get she's gonna get lit up by Emma, by Bailey, by Carmella, by by Eva, by Blue Pants, whoever. And actually, she's gonna get lit up, and I don't think she's a great wrestler at all. Honestly, she's like Tamina Snuka. Tamina Snuka's not even that great either. She can't even take a bump. I don't think Tamina Snuka's okay. She's not better. I have to choose Tamina Snuka or Sarah. I'll choose Tamina Snuka over Sarah, but. It's but what do you guys think? What does the WWE universe think? I think the WWE Universe was pissed because, the people were pissed because, I don't know, they think Sarah should have gone somewhere, like, oh, Sarah should say, what you guys think? The WWE Universe was more excited to, more, was more excited to hear about Donald Trump's um, campaign speech tonight in Iowa, or were they more excited about hear, hearing about Sarah Lee getting her contract as the new WWE Diva for NXT and moving away? She said it might take, it's going to take her a year to be a superstar, she said, it might take me less than a year. Dude, you have more than a year. You maybe have a movie too. You need to even highlight or something else. You probably won't. You probably won't event. You probably won't freaking. What do you want to call that? Wrestle and resume until like WrestleMania 40 or something like that. That's how long it will take you. To WrestleMania 40 or at least a SummerSlam or something. Even a pay per view, honestly. But yeah, were they more excited to hear about Donald Trump's? Um, campaign speech in Iowa tonight, or when they marked out right here about Sarah Lee, Sarah freaking Lee, getting the contract, and Josh getting the contract. I still prefer the man and ZZ, but I don't really care who, who won for the guys, because the guys are just awesome, it doesn't matter what guy won. But I still prefer ZZ, he had a great entrance, uh, freaking alligator and everything, that was awesome. But I wanted the man to win, she, way better, she, and she's at NW Tough Talks, with Brian Saxton, ooh, Look at look at me look at me. It was all popularity content. That's what you want. Even Triple H was like, you know, you know what's so crazy about you, Sarah? My daughters came up to me at some because I haven't seen them in a long time. And they're there. They're like, you know who who admires me? Who was? Uh, we saw Sarah Lee, Daddy. Who cares? Sarah Lee sucks. She knows she sucks. She thinks she's all that. I'm pissed. The WWE Universe is pissed. I think people would have probably would have rather watched Donald Trump's campaign speech in Iowa tonight and then this crap honestly but there's nothing really good on on TV besides 
toughen up and tomorrow. And they're already posting on Facebook on WNXT and WWE. Congratulations, Sarah and Josh. Yeah, congratulations, Josh. You're awesome, man. You're great. You're going to do phenomenal. I don't care about you right now. I care about mostly about Sarah Lee. She's going to get lit up. How many times did I tell you this? Emma, Carmella, Blue Pants, freaking the girl with uh, Tyler Murphy, Eva Marie, Bailey. The list goes on and on. She will get lit up, and when she fights in the WWE with Paige, Sasha Banks, Tamina, all those girls, she will get lit up. And she will the road 250 days out of the year. No breaks. There's no options. None. They barely get to see their family. And that's how crazy it is. So Sarah, I wish you good luck, but I still don't like you, but we'll find out. I'll, be, I'll try to watch WNXT to see how good she is. I'll try to watch her just to see Josh, honestly. But that's still like... I feel like I'm a big NXT fan. I love the VOD villains. They're my favorite tag team on the show. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. And subscribe for more. Let me know what you think. What disappointed you, Sarah, getting the contract? Or you wish Amanda should have got the contract? Or you wish ZZ got the contract? Or you liked how Josh got the contract? And which would you rather would have watched? The Tough Enough of Sarah Lee getting the contract or Donald Trump's? Campaign speech, campaign speech in Iowa tonight. Let me know in the comments. I don't want to get into politics, but I just wanted to say that because there's really nothing else on to compare to that. You know what else is on? So, thank you guys for this video. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Bye and good night. Peace.